guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build. Today, I am building opposite student housing on the Foxbury Institute campus. So, I was in the mood to build something in the A-frame style. It's one of my favorite ways to build houses. I did like a let's build of one a few years ago, and I've done a few before and after then, and they're just really fun to build. But I had also, over a long time, had a lot of suggestions to do something for like opposite sisters or opposite twins, opposite houses, that kind of thing. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to take that concept vaguely and make opposite student housings that were A-frames that were kind of connected with a shared porch. So that's what we're doing here today. So obviously everyone's interpretation of opposite is gonna be different. And I just wanted to give a couple of different types of Sims that I thought would live together in each one so that they were sharing similar interests in each of these houses. I more so designed the colored palettes to be more opposite, but I feel like these Sims could easily be good friends. They might be more similar than you would think. And you could definitely, you know, have whoever you'd like living in these homes when you do have them go to university, or you could place these in any other world and you know, just live in them as normal houses as well. But I did kind of plan for them to be university housing so there, there isn't like a fully functional kitchen because you can't have stoves in university housing. So that might be a problem if you guys decide to live in these as regular homes. But if you would like to download them, they are available on the Sims 4 gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. That information will also be down below as well as a direct download link to the gallery website if it's easier to grab it that way. So the house on the left that has the it's going to have a lighter like reddish roof and then the one on the right is going to be more dark colors but the one on the left has this beautiful glass roof we're going to be adding here right now and uh, this house I had thought was going to be for some sims that were more into plants, botany, maybe studying something in that field in school or art. So I have both of those things in that home and then the one over here I kind of imagine with Sims that were a little bit more into music or into partying and not really caring about what their degree is for. So I had a lot of fun with that idea, but I was more so just having so much fun with the colors because one side is very light and airy with lots of pastels and then the other side is like very dark with pops of bright yellow and navy blue and I really enjoyed both of them but I would say I like the darker one a lot better it's my personal style a lot more so they were both really fun to build though and I'm curious which one is more your style or if you're somewhere in between or something completely different than these uh, definitely interested to hear that but I really like building things that are more of a dark color palette and things like that I was definitely the goth kid in high school <laughs> I don't know if any of you knew that already. I've, I've mentioned it before, but it, it's been a long time. So if you were unaware, hello. <laughs> so I was definitely kind of channeling myself a little bit in this side of the build, partially like a mixture of college and high school, because in high school, I didn't care about my work and, you know, almost failed. Uh, but in college, I had a 4.0. So like, it's, it's kind of me, but like, which age? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm rambling on about that. It's been a couple days since I've done a voiceover, and I just wanted to thank you guys so very much for the support on the last build that I uploaded here on the channel, which was that converted school bus. I am completely blown away by all of the support that that got. I was so excited to post it, so the fact that you guys liked it so much just really means a lot. Uh, but I won't talk about that too much because that's not what this video is about. Uh, but the outside of these are coming together now. Just getting a little uh, covering over the door to the left house. And trying to figure out what kind of plants and stuff I can add to make the outside look a little bit more exciting. I tried to add a decent amount of plants out here even though I thought, you know, one side <laughs> liked plants more than the other. It was just fun to play around with all of the greenery and a lot of uh, shalivita objects. And... Can I just say how good the Moschino windows look when they are on a diagonal? They're stretched out and they just look so pretty. And I need to start using those on diagonals more often. I was a little bit too excited about it. Uh, also, they both have like a fenced in area. For a while, they were the like different sizes and they end up being slightly different in the end. But I think I fixed them to be pretty similar. And then there's pathways to either side. I did put decks in the back of each one to get out, but then I forgot I put them there and put a bathroom there. So I get rid of the decks in the end and end up adding 
a walkway to like a little fence on each side so you would have to go back outside to walk around to the fenced in area for each one but I thought that was fine. I actually kind of imagined that these houses without the fences just how they are connected the opposite color schemes and how they don't really match the rest of the style on this property like they don't look like the other builds on Foxbury Institute's campus at all. I was kind of thinking it could be cool if these were created as a project years ago by some of the architecture students and that over time having students actually live here people wanted fences so those were an afterthought uh, which is you know a good way to say that I, I forgot to have a proper door to inside but the whole time I had been imagining that these were like a project that architecture students had created with the whole you know n maybe there was requirements and needed to have this kind of roof and you needed to do something to make them drastically different from each other even though they were pretty much the same shape. So I thought that was kind of a fun idea. So I ended up picking out the beds and figuring out the placement of them in each of the dorm spaces or houses. I'm not sure what to call them because they are student housing but uh, I decided to figure out where I was going to place those and pick out the beds I was most likely going to use before I fully furnished them and we ended up furnishing the one on the right first, the darker colors. So here we are popping in there and just loving the Moschino window so much. I added this pop of yellow on the wall and I ended up using a lot of stuff from Eco Lifestyle. This new bed is from there, the, the curtains are from there. Uh, the uh, yellow and blue bed though, that one is from Tiny Living. I love that one as well. This house also ends up getting a bubble blower from City Living. I thought that could be a fun activity to do outside of classes and studying if there's any even being done here. Uh, so I was excited to add that. I've only used it a couple of times in builds before. One of those was a more recent build, but it's not an item I use very often. Uh, but I kind of went for a little bit of a mixture of industrial and mid-century modern for some of the furnishings inside this one. And I had fun with the posters. They're music related and a little bit of more conspiracy theory related. I can, could imagine these sims like staying up really late, playing a lot of guitar or keyboard. I end up putting a keyboard in here as well. And you know, hanging out with the bubble blower and talking about aliens until like three or four in the morning. That's kind of who I imagine is in this particular housing. And uh, I thought that was kind of a fun idea. I also imagine they're a little bit messy. So I put that parenthood clutter down and now I'm trying to figure out where the kitchen space is gonna be. Like I mentioned, since this is student housing, I'm not allowed to place down a stove. However, I can have a mini fridge, I can have a microwave, have a sink. So that is the kitchen. That's all there really is. If you want more than what you can get from there, I think. I think you can order food on your phone or you can go to the student commons and go to the like cafeteria section um, but otherwise this is what you got. I also decided to have a little bit of a divider between the space here and I separated that out with a window. I believe I ended up using the one from Island Living with these horizontal slats and then I get some vertical ones to place the other way to make it even more crisscrossy. I thought it looked kind of cool and uh, kind of mirrored the look of the windows we had in the space a little bit obviously it's not the same but it had the same vibe so that's what i did with that but here is the keyboard i'm going to be adding we're going to be switching the spot so it's over by the bathroom door and moving the bubble blower over here so it's a little bit more diagonal it's in both of the rooms but i think that worked out pretty well and it also makes sense to me that that would just kind of fit wherever you can put it it probably wasn't planned out to be part of the furniture by the sims that originally you know thought of this place <laughs> that wasn't an item they were like oh we need a bubble blower they were more like okay we need a place for them to eat or study or sleep but you know whoever's gonna live here is gonna bring what they want and these sims really wanted that bubble blower uh, but just adding some decorations over on this little side table I have those really cute succulents and a lamp getting that blue wall I just I love the color combo in here I think yellow and navy blue look so nice together especially with the blacks and the grays uh, but that's definitely a personal preference let me know what you guys think uh, I just had a lot of fun with the color scheme in this one just have a few more decorations to place down we have like a little shoe rack and some backpacks I believe there also was a trash can added and then I wanted to make sure there were some things on this bedside table as well. I end up adding these books, which I think are also from Moschino, maybe, and a lamp over here as well so that there were some things. I had to use the red shelf because I did shrink down that bedside table, so things would have been floating. Uh, and then we're just working on the bathroom. So the shower in the 
I almost said fridge. That is a toilet. The shower and the toilet are kind of shoved together over when you first walk in. And then the sink is over on the other side. I did play test this bathroom. It works perfectly fine. And it ends up having the same like design of it, like the same items placed in the same locations in the bathroom on the other side as well, which you'll see shortly. But here I am finally adding these little fences, these little gates outside. I'm like, oh wait, I put a bathroom where those back porches were. Oops. Uh, so I did add those. And then there is also an upper roof area on this house, like the party house. So I added a little bar up here, a couple of chairs, and I think another one of like the juice kegs. So there are uh, places for your Sims to have a little bit of fun here, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything to play music outside. There's just a guitar. I didn't want to add any radios or anything because then if it rained, they would just break. Uh, but your Sims could definitely bring those things out there if they would like to. Uh, and just adding a little pathway over to that ladder so that your Sims can get up there and adding a pathway over to the other side so that they have a way to get over as well. And starting on the bathroom over there, since I just did the other one, it's fresh in my memory exactly where the things are going. And uh, so that's what we're doing. It just has a lighter color scheme, a different little uh, linen cabinet in there. And yeah, it's pretty simple. I like how these came out. I think they're cute. I love the shelving unit I put above the toilet, which is from Tiny Living. Tiny Living has so many nice items and I just it's it's the best one in game for like over toilet storage we only have a couple of them i think there's one from base game one from parenthood and then that one but that one's just so good it's so cute uh but this is going to be the bedroom space the lighting that comes in here in the morning is intense these sims are not going to be oversleeping at all it's going to be like good morning it's 5 a.m or 6 a.m you're being blinded by lights because your whole bedroom is a skylight uh, but I thought it was really pretty and I liked the idea of it for Sims that were really into plants and studying that in school and had a lot of them in their dorm space. So I I kept it. <laughs> but there's just a little bookcase over here and a little place to sit as well as their little kitchenette. And then their place that they would eat is also doubling up as a workspace. I have two laptops over there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be popping in and out. Can't decide what I'm up to, <laughs> basically. I do that a lot in builds, but add a lot of plants in here. I also have a vertical planter. I have some single planters inside, and I end up adding some of the planters outside that can fit four in them as well. But first, I'm going to be decorating this little table slash office space that I have here. I added a bunch of plants and some clutter. I also have the cork board with some postcards on it, some hanging succulents, and then I added a couple of different journals as well as a gardening book that I sized up because I just thought it looked really pretty with the flowers on it. It could be maybe a textbook or something for one of their classes. And uh, there's a journal that you get with university and there's also one that comes with parenthood and both of those are on the table. I stack them on top of each other. Uh, but this is just a little dresser for storage that has a TV on top of it. And then into the kitchen, I decided to add a dividing wall to separate off the space. It just felt a little bit more separate that way. Obviously it's not a separate room, but I was trying to make the insides of these not be too closed off, but still feel like they have defined spaces. So hopefully I achieved that. But outside I am adding some planters, a flower arranging table. I was like a flower decorating table, a flower arranging table, as well as some benches. There's also a ping pong table out here. I thought that would just be a fun activity. It could be very innocent or it could be juice pong. I think both would be fun. And uh, I, I feel like it's just like a classic what you need to have in university housing in The Sims at least. So I did add that. And then I think we're just finishing up some landscaping before we go on into screenshots. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Uh, just finishing up some more landscaping here, adding even more planters because you just gotta plant everything and an easel out back as well. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.